Okay, so we have to simplify a trigonometric function. This is number 42. Holy crap. All right, so it's me and Ashley. We'll talk about her later. But first thing I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to simplify this piece out at the bottom. I think that this is going to be a complex fraction. So I'm just going to put in this as a replacement. I'm going to say this is 1 over sine squared theta. That's what they already gave us. And I'm going to trade in my cosecant theta for 1 over sine theta. It's not squared, right? Sine theta. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a common denominator. And I think that the common denominator is this sine squared theta here. So I'm going to multiply by 1 using sine theta over sine theta, which we know is 1, isn't it? And then I'm just going to bring this piece of math down. I'm, in just a second, I'm going to give Ashley the floor here, but this is going to be this is going to be one over sine squared theta plus sine theta over sine squared theta. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to do it while I'm here. I'm just going to put these pieces together because that's where we're going, isn't it? So I'm going to take this one plus the sine theta, right? One over the sine theta, and I'm going to just lay it right here. One plus sine theta, and remember our common denominator was sine squared theta, so we're, we're building our complex fraction. Now it's Ashley. Okay, with the top, cosecant, as we said before, is 1 over sine theta plus 1, but to get a common denominator, like before, we're going to do sine theta over sine theta. So our final result after looking at this would be 1 over sine theta plus sine theta over sine theta. And since we have a common denominator, we'll simplify this again. And that goes to 1 plus sine theta over sine theta. Perfect. Perfect. Good job, Ashley. That was Ashley from Radio no, Disney. No, she no. she hates when I say that, but I'm just going to keep saying it until she starts saying it herself. Anyway, we're gl really glad that she's here. If you recognize the voice, that's terrific. So look, I'm going to take this piece from the numerator, put it here. And remember, this is a complex fraction, so when you take a complex fraction, the denominator comes up as its reciprocal, which gives us times sine squared theta over 1 plus sine sine theta. I got lost. Yeah, right, it's right there. Sorry. Right? Now I'm just going to simplify this out a little bit. Check this out. We have... How are we doing? We're doing good, aren't we? Uh, we have this piece and this are the same, so we can cross cancel over multiplication. That's 1 and that's 1. That gives us... So we multiply straight across, we get sine squared theta over sine theta, which is equal to, well, sine theta. So that's our simplification. That's unbelievable that it came out that way. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, your comments are welcome. What your comments should be is, who's Ashley and how tall is she? So, well, we'll see. Where am I? Help!